in Uganda, there's vibrant media. So there's freedom of press. We have independent media and where the government has interest in every part of Uganda, you can always find a radio station where people can interact, know about the issues happening. And newspapers are widespread, so all the people just know whatever is going on. People can phone in talk shows to interact with the, in the people who are discussing an issue, to, to tell what they think about the issue, like to inform people what they know. And secondly, people are allowed to write in newspapers whatever they want. There's no, no one who will do anything to you. Just write whatever you believe and to be corrected. I believe that information is power. And so when you come to Uganda, make sure you buy a newspaper, listen to radios, watch TV, so that you know whatever is going on. And some newspapers which you cannot buy and you have access to the internet, you can get them off the web. Um, Princess Kabakumba Laboni Masiko, the Minister for Information and National Guidance. My ministry in charge of um, media management and uh, also guiding the whole nation as far as the, the ideological orientation is concerned. Uganda is a beautiful country and you should all be encouraged to visit it. And if you need any information about it, my office is open. It is currently very peaceful and uh, the media and the press is very free. There was a lot of liberalization and people are free to report and to say whatever they think should be said. And of course on the ideological front, we are interested as Uganda to transform our nation and to move as one country, talking with one voice, peacefully, and of course, united. You are welcome to Uganda, a beautiful country, gifted by nature, part of Africa, free for all to live in. My name is Andrew Mwenda. I am the managing director of the Independent Publications Limited, the publishers of the Independent News Magazine. Uganda's premier news magazine. Our work is largely to provide a platform for the promotion of the ideals of freedom and liberty. Now, Uganda is known as uh, the Pearl of Africa, largely because former British Prime Minister Winston Churchill found that it had wonderful people and incredible scenery. Uganda has one of the most vibrant thriving mass media of any country in Africa. We have more than 15 private television stations, more than 30 news publications, and more than 200 private FM radio stations. They provide a large quantity of debate, although I must admit that the quality is still poor because of limited professionalism in the media. Uganda is a very friendly and beautiful country place where you want to go if you want to get uh, excited, if you want to dance, there are so many nightclubs, if you want to drink, there are so many brands and clans of alcohol, and uh, there are border borders, traffic jams, beautiful animals and landscapes. Once you come to this country, so many people who come here don't want to leave. Yes, um, my name is Robert Kapshenga. One of the things that I like about Uganda is the fact that one we have a free business environment completely unregulated almost apart from paying taxes and a few levies and it has allowed us to innovate in an area at least which I found very passionate about which is also the area of media and the debate goes back and forth but the truth is that the industry in which we work which is the media is much freer than in many parts of Africa so a combination of a free media environment and a free business environment is fundamentally responsible for the success of the new vision. And so um, it will be a lifetime, it will take a lifetime before I can exchange my life in Uganda for any other place. So it's a 
great to be Ugandan, certainly at this time and in the future. My name is Daniel Kalinaki. I'm the managing editor of the Monitor newspapers in Kampala, Uganda. The Monitor is the leading independent daily newspaper in Uganda. It is a paper that stands for the truth and serves the public interest in this country. Uganda is one of the most beautiful countries in Africa and in the world, and I would encourage you to come and visit the people, the landscape, and also look out for the animals. Interesting country. My name is James Tumusime. I'm managing editor of the Weekly Observer. Uh, this newspaper was founded five years ago in Uganda as, as an interesting uh, media market. The country has uh, quite a number of uh, high-quality newspapers and, uh, and of course the abundance of, of radio stations privately owned is incredible. Uh, it's been growing at the fast pace and uh, I'm proud to say our newspaper is one of the fastest growing at the moment, being the youngest as well. I, I, I feel that uh, it's, it's a market that will benefit from some uh, uh, foreign investment in, media especially as this will bring in much more needed to capital and then uh, boost newspaper readership and, and all the other aspects of, of, of media. Uh, talking about Uganda in general, I think it's a, it's a wonderful country. I've been born here, I've been bred here, and I live here and I enjoy it. Uh, the weather is magnificent. I've traveled in many parts of the world. You don't find it any better. There are problems like uh, there are for every developing nation, but I think they are not problems that cannot be overcome. So I think with better policies and you know and and, 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 and better governance, I think uh, you know we we are headed for very good times. And so with the country is on a good track.